What's up everybody, it's your boy at the Aftermath, man. We back here at the gym. Today I wanna to focus on bench, uh, a lot of bench cues, techniques, um, exercises that you can do to enhance your bench. I know a lot of guys, you really just come in the gym and you don't really think outside the box a lot of times. You just see the bench, you see the barbell, you see the weights, you come in, do the simple bench movements, you see the dumbbells, come in, do the simple dumbbell movements. But today I kinda of wanna give you a little bit of um, extra, additions to those things that you already do in order for you to improve your bench, uh, your chest growth, or whatever. So one thing that you probably already know about that I use um, consistently is band work. Band work is constant tension. The one thing that you don't really have throughout the full bench, and uh, I mean, you have tension going on because the weight is unloaded. You're still having to fight back from that weight, but adding the resistance bands gives you a little bit more pressure throughout the whole movement. So what we'll do, actually I'm gonna take these down because I don't want this in the way. So we're gonna have these weights right here. It is at a little angle. So what I'll do is that I'll actually be pulling it down like this, bringing my chest a little bit more up and it'll kind of seem like a decline, but we'll still get that same effect that I need. Now, the thing about this is that at the top of the motion is its strongest and at the bottom is as weak as of course. So the more you go up, the harder it gets, and then you come back down, easier. And you can do this in two ways. You can do it for um, a strength, use it for strength of course. For, I mean actually um, multiple ways, for strength, for hypertrophy, and for muscular endurance. Um, usually when I combine muscular endurance, I kind of combine it with hypertrophy because that much volume is going to sometimes force, I mean not, not sometimes, but a lot of times force that muscle growth. And I'm actually, I'm actually liking that back resistance just for the simple fact of I get a little bit more shoulder stability work. I'm having to keep that, that lockout, those triceps locked out. I'm having to keep that bar up instead of bringing it back. So I get a strong pull push right here. Eight reps. So another way you can do this is you'll just simply, the, the, the way I usually do it, just grab this, pull it under. And you have that actual up and down motion that you're looking for. Make sure to push down on it when you do it so it can get nice and evenly stretched out. And we'll do the same thing. I use bands, let's use bands, take the bands off, and then rep again, go up a little heavier. Cause there's a speed difference. And what you wanna get used to doing on bench is having that explosive speed. That's gonna help you get that weight up. So we're gonna go for six explosive reps with 225. Four explosive reps with 315. And then probably go up to four or five also. Want this as fast as possible. Rack two, three. Six. Unload. Be careful when trying to be explosive with bench. You can easily start getting elbow issues and also shoulder. So we're going up to 315 for the four reps. Bands can be used on a lot of things, dumbbells, 
you know, that machine over there, incline, dump, resistance bands can be used in multiple situations. Dips, it can help to add resistance or, or take resistance off. I know people who do um, squats with bands, you know, overloaded squats with bands, you feel at the top, and as you go down, it gets easier, you know what I'm saying? And you come up and, I mean, same situation. So bands are a useful tool, I repeat, tool, not something you do all the time, 15% of usage, you know what I'm saying, out of your training regimen. Um, but definitely something you should really focus on as far as full-time resistance, like full-on resistance uh, throughout a motion and um, help with speed, like I said, speed explosiveness, um, you know, power, strength, hypertrophy, be using multiple occasions. So add bands to training. So, bench development involves a lot with the shoulders. The shoulders need to be strong. Strong shoulders helps with the strong bench, helps with injury-free bench, helps with the strong, healthy chest protection. And one thing to do that, along with the bands, is pretty much, what do they call it, like tsunami, tsunami benching. And the stability is crazy. You have to have good stability and strength, and it, that's what it works as well control with this movement. This is not something crazy where you want to do with 400 some pounds, even maybe even pushing just 225, plus the uh, extra 30 kg kettlebells that I got right there. Might be a little bit too much, but we'll find out right now. Either way, I would do this for about three or four sets, six to eight reps, nice and in control. Pretty tough, five reps only. And I was like, one rubber shot from being done. So that was good. So with the bands, this is about three, three to 30 right here. Now I'm going for sets of five. All right, guys, appreciate you watching. That is the video on the usage of bands, uh, how they can benefit your bench workout and improve your strength and hypertrophy as well, as long as well as endurance. Uh, now I'm about to actually do a hypertrophy workout for the chest. So like this video, subscribe, wait for the next video, which is the same video that's like the same day, but like not the same video, you know, like, just hit the notification button. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.